Hello, I'm Nadia. Um, today I'm going to be going over a quick summary on what to expect for activity two, which is liquid sampling. So in that activity, you're going to learn how to, uh, how to initialize a capacitive sensor and then read ADC values from the sensor using different liquids. So the goal of this activity is to be able to identify unknown liquids using raw analog values. The materials you're going to need for this are a Lunasat, a computer that has Arduino IDE installed, an FTDI, and then cables that you'll need for that, as well as Q-tips, paper towels, um, different liquids that we'll go over in a bit, sticky labels and pencil um, cups, and then the Activity 7.2 worksheet that you can follow along with. And then you're also going to need Arduino code, um, which you can find um, under the Glee 2023 module sketches, the module 7 capacitive file. Uh, the code is called capacitive basic analog read. So um, for this activity, you're going to choose three liquids from the following list, which is distilled water, 91% isopropyl alcohol, distilled vinegar, coconut oil that's refined, olive oil, sesame oil, peanut oil, and mineral oil. Um, but you don't need to test multiple oils because the ADC value between them doesn't change. And then also note that for the distilled water and the distilled vinegar, make sure that they're distilled or it can destroy the lunasat. So for this activity, you're just going to go through a couple of steps. The first is to collect and label your materials. So label your cups one, two, three, and then the same thing with, with each Q-tip because you're going to want to use a different Q-tip for each liquid. And then the second step is to take that code that we showed earlier and then upload it to your lunasat and also launch the serial monitor because on the serial monitor you'll see those ADC values um, listed. The third step is to actually test the capacitive sensor by placing the liquids on it using the cotton swab and then record the ADC values that you see on the serial monitor and then don't forget to wipe the liquid off the capacitive sensor with a paper towel afterwards and then use a new cotton swab for the next liquid. Uh, the fourth and final step is to identify the liquids that you used. So match those analog or those ADC values that you recorded to uh, the closest value that you can find in the table of um, in the table of different liquids. So the values will change slightly, but just choose the one that's the closest. Um, and then again, just a final reminder: uh, you do not need to test multiple oils because the ADC value between them does not change. Uh, that's all, though, for this activity.